Okay, we have another integral here today. This one's from the Florida integration B from 2012, problem seven. We have the integral of x over the square root of one plus x squared plus the square root of one plus x squared all cubed dx. Okay, first I was pretty concerned with this. I mean, we've got like a nested square root here. This looks pretty complicated. The only thing I like about it, the only thing that kind of, the only thing that makes me optimistic is We've got the same thing right here and here. We've got one plus x squared. So what I wanted to try is, let's see if we can simplify it just with a u substitution for one plus x squared. So we'll set that up as our u. Take a derivative on this, we get two x dx. Then if I just multiply in a two, then we have our whole numerator becomes just our du. I don't wanna change it, so let's multiply a half in front. Then we'll substitute this, I have the half in front. Again, numerator is going to be just du. Then all this is going to become, this part's u, so this is going to become u plus, I can write this as u to the 3 halves. We have a cubed inside the square root, so we'll have u 3 halves here. Then here, I can actually just factor this. If I factor a u out, this is going to become u times 1 plus u 1 half. So we'll rewrite this, and what we can do is the u inside the square root, we'll take it out of the square root, it becomes u to the 1 half but then we'll bring it all the way into the numerator. So what's gonna happen is here, this is gonna become u minus one half, and then this is still gonna be square root one plus u one half. But now I'm set up for another substitution. If I just, let's do, let's call this piece right here t. So we'll say t is gonna be one plus u one half. Take a derivative on this to get a dt value. Derivative of that zero, derivative here, one half u minus one half du. Well, I already have this one half, so let's bring this back into the integral and write it this way. So if I bring in the one half, now the whole numerator, that's just going to be exactly our dt value. So when we substitute this, this is going to become dt. This becomes square root of t right here. But then let's actually take this and write this square root of t. I can write this as t minus one half dt, and then we'll just integrate this using power rule plus one on there. This is going to become t one half. Take the reciprocal, it becomes two t one half or two square root of t. So all that's left to do is we just need to back substitute it in order to finish it off. Let me clean up the board and we'll get a little bit of space for that. Now before I back substitute, we actually have to back substitute twice. Let me clean it up and get it all the way back to x. So for our t value, we have t is going to be one plus, let's write it as square root of u. But then let's plug in our u value, which is one plus x squared. So for t, we can say this is the same thing as one plus square root one plus x squared. So we'll take this and plug it back in. And so for my final solution is we have two square root one plus square root one plus x squared. Add a plus c on the end and that's it. Okay, there you go. Good one today. Florida integration B 2012. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.